Hello guys, how's it going? This is a video on how to create the new Ticket server. It's 1.0.0 uh, .0 and uh, it came out yesterday. Um, so here we go. So first of all, what you'll need to do is download these two things here. So open up your browser. Once you've opened up your uh, browser, um, uh, Google or whatever you prefer, just search Ticket like so and click the top one uh, the Technic platform which is this here and it'll bring you to this uh, new web well it's not a new website but it's the new ticket so you can click get ticket on the top right or you can scroll all the way down to the bottom like so and it says the new ticket is now available you can download it so you'll need to download the Technic launcher if you've not already got it you can get it there and you need to download the new server which is the so once you've downloaded that it will take you to it'll download it to the download section and then you want to put it to your desktop like so so you just drag them out of your downloads onto the desktop like like that, that. Uh, once you've got them you just right click the back and click new folder and just call it new server or new ticket server and you'll need to download WinRA or WinZip or 7-Zip um, and then you can just press uh, right click and open with and you can open with WinRA Archiver so it'll come to a little screen like this and what you want to do is drag and drop everything into the new server uh, like that, there you go so you can close down the, the WinRA thing and you'll have all these stuff here, so in the server properties folder you'll able to change, you know, all the stuff uh, spawn NPCs and I'm just going to change this to 4 so you can see that it does work so I'll save that and um, what you want to do is click this launch.bat now if you do have problems and it don't launch or you get a Java error uh, just comment below and I'll make a new video if, if there's a big problem because I can't show you just yet but um, if it's because of a, a memory you've not enough memory press edit and uh, basically what you want to do is change these uh, two digits here which I'll put a code in the description so I'll just copy and paste it into this and then save it but luckily for me it does work so just uh, save it and click launch.bat and this will come up and it'll just go through a long list of things um, and while that's doing that I'll uh, I'll get back to you okay guys now it's done you can see that it's done there um, and what, what you'll uh, need to do uh, well actually I'll just minimize that for the time being and you can see uh, there's not loads of new files and loads of new stuff uh, here you can basically ban people or you can opt people uh, just put your Minecraft name in now what you will need to do is um, download something called Log Me in Amatia. That's how you spell it there, Amatia. It's free and this is instead of port forward and it cuts all out, you know, all the hassle that it takes to port forward. This does it for you and it's safe. So uh, I'll just minimise that as well because we'll be coming to that and I'll minimise, actually I'll just get rid of that. Uh, now you want to open up the new launcher. So I'll, I'll just open this up and once it's loaded up I'll, uh, I'll come back to you again. Here we go, you can see the new tech, it's blue, it's got uh, space shuttles on and stuff like that. Now on this server it's, um, it's not the latest build so you'll want to use the recommended build. Um, but the select build is the latest so um, I'm assuming it don't matter but basically this little cog here um, if you press launch and you try to get on your server if it says you've not enough mods basically what you need to do is come back relaunch the ticket and click this always use the latest build save and um, just launch it and it'll say do you want to update click update and um, it'll be done for you okay so when you click launch it'll take you to this it'll open up this and what you'll need to do um, well basically you'll know it's the new ticket because it's Minecraft 1.5.1 it's got 66 mods loaded and uh, what you'll need to do is open your multiplayer 
like so, and you will have nothing on, so I'll just delete this dead quick, so I just did a quick uh, run through, see if it works. Uh, now this is the part where Hamachi comes in, so remember, download Hamachi. Um, you'll get this here, just press the power button there, and it'll power it on. Now, if you are hosting a server like I am here, what you'll need to do is see this at the top it says 25 25.111.217.14 if you click on it and copy the IP4 address click add server click server address now you can copy it in or you can just control V it press done and you'll see that I changed it from 20 players to 4 players um, and you can see that it's on because it's green now if you wanted to join your friend uh, server so he'll be hosting the server not me. Um, obviously, you he will create a network like so, and you join it. Um, obviously, discuss the network ID and password with each other, and you'll join something like this. Now, this is mine. Um, so, say if Ben your man was hosting, he has an IP address of 25.140.62.18, which is random um, IPs which I'm actually does. Now if I wanted to join is I'll do add server uh, and then the server IP address I would copy is IP4 address like so and paste it and done. Now that's his server. If he was running the server it would come up but no it won't because obviously he's not running it. So that's that. So now you can close that down and uh, now I'll just join this server so it show you that it's actually working. Now this login in screen, like I was saying before, if it says you've not enough mods, go to the cog thing back on the Technic launcher and um, use the latest build. Now, uh, it's taking a little bit of time with this, so, oh here we go. Apologise if it does a bit lag, uh, it's because I'm recording. Uh, you can see it's the new one, all the new gadgets here, I don't know what these are, I've not played it myself yet. Um, so yeah, if you do have any problems, um, in the description there will be an error video, so if you do get an error just check that out and uh, hopefully it helps you. If not just comment on the video and I'll try to help you. Um, and I hope this tutorial did help you, so <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you later. Bye.